Hello, WaterAid is pleased to be part of the Global Task Force on Cholera Control. Cholera is a disease of inequality. The most vulnerable and the poorest in the world are often, very often, the same people who are most vulnerable to cholera and other diseases such as COVID, which is of course increasing inequality in the world at the moment. The maps look very similar. It's the same group of people. And of course, we all know that hand hygiene is one of the first line defences for cholera, for COVID, for many other diseases. And yet it is missing in many, many households in the world. Billions of households don't have access to uh, soap and water. And in clinics, in healthcare facilities, frontline healthcare workers lack access to uh, soap and water as a basic uh, both prevention and protection for health workers um, issue. And it's not been prioritised in the current COVID situation. So we are very alarmed that most of the announcements being made on COVID do not mention WASH. Um, WaterAid is committed to this issue. We're committed, uh, we were backing uh, the meeting in Zambia. Uh, we're working in both Zambia and uh, Nigeria, another country programme where we're working on cholera. And more generally, we're very committed and have championed a cross-sectoral integrated approach to tackling, the, uh, tackling co cholera. We welcome uh, the Global Task Force uh, on Cholera Control's April statement with its six-step approach to, uh, to re-establishing vaccination programmes on cholera, and we're delighted to see that WASH is one of those six essential steps. Um, hygiene and vaccinations need to go hand in hand, part of the new normal for prevention in the world. And yet, as I already said, we have a long way to go to achieve this. So we call, WaterAid calls on all governments, all international agencies to put wash at the heart of the prevention and control uh, agenda for cholera. It's the ultimate no regrets intervention. And we look forward to working with the World Health Organization, with Gavi and with ministries of health around the world in a joined up effort to end cholera by 2030.